Doctrine and Covenants, section 100. Revelation given to Joseph Smith the prophet and Sidney Rigdon at Perrysburg, New York, October 12, 1833. The two brethren, having been absent from their families for several days, felt some concern about them. Verily, thus saith the Lord unto you, my friends, Sidney and Joseph, your families are well, they are in mine hands, and I will do with them as seemeth me good, for in me there is all power. Therefore, follow me and listen to the counsel which I shall give unto you. Behold, and lo, I have much people in this place, in the regions round about, and an effectual door shall be opened in the regions round about in this eastern land. Therefore, I, the Lord, have suffered you to come unto this place, for thus it was expedient in me for the salvation of souls. Therefore, verily I say unto you, lift up your voices unto this people, speak the thoughts that I shall put into your hearts, and you shall not be confounded before men. For it shall be given unto you in the very hour, yea, in the very moment, what ye shall say, but a commandment I give unto you, that ye shall declare whatsoever thing Ye declare in my name, in solemnity of heart, in the spirit of meekness, in all things. And I give unto you a promise, that inasmuch as ye do this, the Holy Ghost shall be shed forth in bearing record unto all things whatsoever ye shall say. And it is expedient in me that you, my servant Sidney, should be a spokesman unto this people, yea, verily, I will ordain you unto this calling, even to be a spokesman unto my servant Joseph, and I will give unto him power to be mighty in testimony, and I will give unto thee power to be mighty in expounding all scriptures, that thou mayest be a spokesman unto him, and he shall be a revelator unto thee, that thou mayest know the certainty of all things pertaining to the things of my kingdom on the earth. Therefore, continue your journey, and let your hearts rejoice. For, behold, and lo, I am with you even unto the end. And now I give unto you a word concerning Zion. Zion shall be redeemed, although she is chastened for a little season. Thy brethren, my servants, Orson Hyde and John Gould, could are in my hands, and inasmuch as they keep my commandments, they shall be saved. Therefore, let your hearts be comforted, for all things shall work together for good to them that walk uprightly, and to the sanctification of the church. For I will raise up unto myself a pure people that will serve me in righteousness, and all that call upon the name of the Lord and keep his commandments shall be saved, even so. Amen.